neuromorphic computing according to me this is the future of computing by definition neuromorphic computing is the field of computer science where the computing happens the way our human brain works so it combines computer science and neurology biology and certain other disciplines also first we have to understand the major difference of the neuromorphic computing and the other form of computing what we saw in the traditional computing the von neumann architecture is used and things are stored in the digital way means zero or one so that is the first thing second is the uh, in the current computer architecture or the normal traditional computing things uh, you see there is a separate cpu for processing the data and storing the data so for processing of a big information data need to get transferred from one place to another or from one cpu to see another cpu and lot of electricity is required now i think the biggest computer or the most advanced computer is our human brain which god has created and we all are trying to understand how our brain works and neuromorphic computing is a step in that direction mm-hmm. so in the neuromorphic computing things are not digital but analog and second as i mentioned in the traditional computing data is stored separately and processing happens separately but in neuromorphic computing it happens at the same place so neuromorphic computing you will come to know by the name of neuromorphic engineering or neuromorphic architecture the neuromorphic architecture contain a spiking neural network there is one of the main thing and it contains neuron and synapses uh, through synapses the uh, whatever the electricity is passed or the signals are passed the biggest advantage of neuromorphic computing is that it can process lot of data with very less electricity for similarly it can be scaled indefinitely and like that there are many other things but i think suffice to say because of its ability to process vast amount of data in a very energy efficient way is now becoming very important because of two reasons one is we all understand that we have to save and conserve energy uh, now in the traditional computing all those are uh, used and lot of energy is required that power is required to do computation work but in neuromorphic computing as i mentioned fast processing can be done with a small power so any who it says power other is that in devices which are small in nature or where computing it has to happen on the edge so you can think of any variables or any smart device those are suitable candidate for neuromorphic computing similarly the driverless car the drones uh, these are the other things where neuromorphic computing is getting used uh, what i know and what i have read is in some cars also neuromorphic computing chips are getting used again to save the energy 
Intel and IBM have come out with the neuromorphic computing chips and they have demonstrated of doing lot of big data computing with very less energy. So that is the biggest advantage of neuromorphic computing. There are certain challenge with respect to the data accuracy, but I'm sure all those will get overcome in the coming days. And with that neuromorphic computing, which is like our brain works, will take precedence on many other computing chips what we are currently seeing which uh, consume a lot of energy uh, work with the digital way that is zero and one so to summarize neuromorphic computing uh, works like the way our brain works it uh, <clears throat> contains the data and processing part at one place uh, its architecture maintains a spiking neural network and it consumes very less energy and able to do fast processing applications are uh, the drones the car and many other things hope you understood what neuromorphic computing neuromorphic architecture is Thank you.